Hello, this is Captain George with grouperpro.com. Today we're going to tell you how we catch all the great grouper out here in the Gulf of Mexico. Now, you know, we have the gag groupers, the red groupers, and uh, snowy groupers. They're all delicious table fare. And uh, if you're going to fish the Gulf of Mexico, you try, you have to try to get some grouper. That's that's the way to go. So we're just going to show you a couple examples of the best way to catch um, grouper. First of all, the number one thing that you can do is get live bait, and you can get live bait close into shore, around wrecks, off the beaches, using sabiki rigs. And if you don't know what a sabiki rig is. Look it up on the internet. You want to get about a number eight hook on a sabiki. And they have about five or six hooks on there with the little feathers. Green, red, those uh, colors work very well. But once you fill up your live well with, you know, 10, 15, 20 uh, pinfish and tread fins, which some people call greenbacks, and uh, those are the primary uh, grouper live bait is the pinfish or the tread fin. Now once you get get your bait you want to go offshore you want to look for some hard bottom uh, you want to get 50 60 feet of water at least if you go out further the further you go out you find hard bottom 100 150 feet 200 feet the bigger the grouper are going to be deeper the water bigger the bait, bigger the grouper. You want to make up yourself some uh, grouper rigs. Now what is a grouper rig? Well first of all you want to get at least a hundred pound test leader if not more. You could go up to 130 but a uh, hundred pound works good. Uh, I would suggest that you uh, start off with about 36 inches of, uh, if you're going to tie your knots, 36 inches of um, leader to work with because if you're tying knots you're going to lose some on either end. Uh, if you're crimping, like this particular, this looks like the ones you buy in the store, but you know they're very expensive when you buy them in the store. If you make them up yourself you save about half. So this is a 8 ounce uh, barrel weight and the 8 ounce barrel weight will uh, control that live bait. So it's if there's two or three of you fishing off your boat, <clears throat> you're not getting them tangled up because this is going to control that live bait. It's going to move around down there, but uh, if you use, uh, even if it's calm, you want to use at least a, an 8 ounce. And you have a nice swivel couple beads and a, a number seven circle hook. You know these dissolve if you catch you know you catch a shark or <laughs> sailfish or anything like that, cobia, something that you don't want you can just cut the line and you be assured that this circle hook is going to dissolve in their mouth. So there's our grouper rig. That's the best standard grouper rig that you can use. Now if you don't have a live bait you can put uh, squid on the end of this, frozen squid, uh, if you have some frozen sardines, any kind of cut bait, but the pinfish and the tread fins live work the best. So next you need a substantial rod. You know this is a uh, pen mariner. So it's a stand-up, five and a half, six foot stand-up rod because the grouper can, you know, they're going to want to go back in their hole and you want to be able to bring them up without breaking a rod off. So, and then, uh, for instance, this is a uh, pen, don't have my glasses on, <laughs> a pen offshore, this is a pen 45, this is a uh, graphite reel. It's going to hold up in salt water. It has the lever to adjust your drag. You can also, uh, there's a trigger here 
where your drag will stop and you can also adjust the tension on that with this uh, adjustment right here this wheel so a pen 45 or a Shimano similar reel use the uh, braces here always use a brace to hold that rod reel onto that rod it makes a huge difference make sure everything's nice and tight you always use some pen uh, reel cleaner just a touch of that and spread it around with your fingers it keeps these reels looking new I mean this reel here seen a lot of action several years old and uh, it does the job so but once you got your rod your reel your grouper rig and you find some hard bottom and what it is is those groupers are down there in these holes in the hard bottom they're actually in there with their head up and they see a bait come over they're going to jump up and grab it and try to pull it back in their hole so you want to always have that rod and reel in your hand while you're fishing that live bait and the minute you feel it start to go down you want to just bring it up and start to reel and that way you can keep him from getting back in that hole now if he gets in the hole it may take 15 20 minutes of short strokes trying to gain on him and then once he pops out of that hole you can reel him up so uh, that's our tip for today make sure you go to our website grouperpro.com or go to Super Christos G on YouTube and see all of all our videos uh, informative how to clean sheephead how, how to catch uh, snappers so this is uh, Captain George, your favorite captain with grouperpro.com, saying so long for today.